Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be checking out the very newest card coming out inside of Clash Royale that's actually been teased a fair bit on Twitter, and I feel like everyone's detective skills have sort of figured out that the giant goblin slash the goblin giant is going to be the newest card coming out inside of Clash Royale. Check this out. Image number one was posted by Supercell earlier today, or maybe late last night, and it has this big old goblin foot that says GG on top of it. Now, a lot of people were speculating. It's pretty obvious that it makes sense that this would be the goblin. Uh, even from like the little pants that the goblin wear to obviously the goblin colored foot, it's made, it seems like it makes sense. And with the GG, fairly obvious that the goblin would be one of the letters inside of there for an abbreviation. However, if you take a look at this leaked image right here, you can clearly see there's a gigantic goblin and it matches up with the previous image. Now the goblin giant slash giant goblin, I still don't know what the heck this one is gonna be. Obviously, uh, is gonna be a super interesting card. If you take a look over the top of this picture, you can see that that sandwich is being held from a spear from a spear goblin. And I have heard rumors that there's going to be two spear goblins behind the giant goblin uh, from something that someone data mined. So that's pretty interesting stuff. I'm pretty curious to see what this giant goblin card is going to be. Is it going to be some super mega tank at eight elixir that has two spear goblins behind it? Or is it going to be something else? Now, I don't want it to be just like Rascals, except more expensive. I want the goblins to be able to do something cool and unique. I don't want the same card releases over and over put into different packages. And of course, we have to make sure that this doesn't turn into another bait card uh, where, you know, it's just another thing you're going to have to log, zap, or snowball, or else you're going to have a really bad time. So let me know what you guys think about this new card coming out inside of the comment section below. Do you think the giant goblin's going to be a beast? Do you think he's going to be a bust? Is he going to do anything special? I, he can't target elixir or gold like he can inside a Clash of Clans. Anyways, let's go and get into some matches today using a pretty interesting deck I found on TV Royale using P.E.K.K.A. Zappies, but instead of this being, you know, P.E.K.K.A. Goblin Hood Zappies flying machine that you guys have seen way back when, it actually has the little royal piggies inside of him as well as a dark goblin. That's pretty interesting. Let's try it out inside of a grand challenge now and see if we can pick up some dubs. Uh, but obviously the P.E.K.K.A. has been a pretty solid card inside of this meta and it has some favorable matchups. I mean, you play a lot of giant on the ladder right now, giant mini P.E.K.K.A. Musketeer, you play a lot of hog rider, uh, obviously against piggies, the P.E.K.K.A. The Pekka really struggles because especially if you split them, there's not a whole lot it can do. Starting this one off right here, uh, not too many options for what we want to do, so I'll just split my Goblin Gang in the back to get this party started. Looks like he's going to go ahead and slap down his P.E.K.K.A., and uh, we're just going to sort of move on with our day. All right, well, I'll go ahead and get my P.E.K.K.A. ready over here. Looks like his Dark Goblin's going to go down. It's going to give me some good value. I can just go ahead and let this P.E.K.K.A. get slapped down right in the face. That's an unfortunate uh, P.E.K.K.A. from him. Like, unfortunate as in he played that really well, and I'm going to go ahead and slap down my Dark Goblin right here. Hopefully this locks onto his Dark Goblin. It does, and that's going to be beautiful, and my Dark Goblin's going to run for its life that's what i'm talking about look at that dark goblin value right there 800 damage off that tower with the zappy alongside it and honestly i'm, I'm feeling solid now what we can do since we know he does have pekka inside of his deck our piggies are going to be super nice unless he has another great way to take them out so let's try this let me go ahead and get my royal hogs ready right now and see if we can get these pigs rocking and rolling down the lane looks like he's going to offer his own set of zappies and are we playing almost a mirror matchup right here guys he's going to drop his electro wizard he's going to go and drop his bandit i'm going to go for a crazy play this is going to be big fireball value uh but the only problem is he has zappies opposite lane so i'm hoping he doesn't do anything about it he's going to opt to play his zap I'm going to go ahead and zap myself, and I feel like if he plays an aggressive card right here, we're going to lose a lot. So I'm hoping he doesn't have anything that he can play. If he plays Piggies, we can use our Wizard to clean those up. And a so far, so good using this deck. I can't believe this deck is actually working like this, but the Dark Goblin putting in massive work, and obviously we made a really nice uh, starting play to sort of get this game going. Now, our Elixir actually isn't that bad, so I'm pretty happy about that. I can drop our Zappies all the way back here. I can get our P.E.K.K.A. ready in a moment as well to really start cleaning this up and get this match going. Uh, Pack is going to go ahead and walk down. I'll try to make sure that we stay a little bit close to the vest right here. I don't want to invest too heavily um, down the other lane without knowing what he has. So here goes the P.E.K.K.A. And what's this guy's win condition? He's got the, the Dark Goblin coming in right now. I'm going to go ahead and splash my Wizard. His Bandit's going to be going in. His Battle Ram's going down too. I have to fireball all of this before I lose my life. I'm going to end up missing... That's really tough right there. We have to zap this down. Notice what happened. His bandit ended up resetting right there and uh, ruining what we had going on. This Dark Goblin's going to get blasted because uh, that's so bad for us. All right, well, this match has gone from perfect to not so fun in just a matter of moments. I'm going to get my zappies going in. Got to find out a way we, how we can get this done, guys. Only a little bit of HP or what? Please let this wizard target onto this dark on this dark goblin. It does. Royal piggy's going down the lane right here. This has to be some big damage. Fireball's going in. He's gonna have to play his electro wizard. I'm gonna go ahead and play my fireball there. That should be able to do something. I have to use my my goblin gang plus my zap right here. Hopefully that's enough to clean that up. It will. I gotta use my dark goblin too though. Oh, that's gonna be GG well played. No. Oh. 
We completely blew that. We completely blew that by wasting our elixir. Chief Cat won't even look at me because she's so sad. Guys, mistakes have been made. All right, well, that's not very good. We were already one and one inside of this challenge, but I was trying another deck that uh, ended up being a mega fail. It was like some double minions deck with Night Witch. Let's see if we can turn this around with two straight wins and then uh, maybe be able to make up for our sins. Guys, not the, uh, not the best start to a challenge to say the least. We actually did really well in the beginning and all we had to do honestly was be able to uh, Wow, this guy's going really aggressive right here. All we had to do was uh, play it right by um, playing our P.E.K.K.A. same lane as the Battle Ram and everything else, but we ended up uh, aborting mission right there, and it didn't turn out so well. Now, what I'm going to do is let these Zappies just go on in. I'm going to let this all just happen, and I can get my P.E.K.K.A. ready in just a moment for this Musketeer. This is going to work out really nicely to where once this Musketeer goes down, I can just slap this down on top of it. I don't care about this Miner at all. I'm going to use my Dark Goblin to take down this Miner and then go on a counteroffensive. I don't know if he has... A log or anything else but he's definitely struggling when it comes to elixir and he's gonna pay the price with that dark goblin beating on that tower now this push isn't over guys we still have so much left right here and since he is gonna go with these goblins I'm just gonna throw my royal hogs down the lane because he doesn't have anything to deal with them guys and uh, this is gonna be looking much better than game number one tombstone's gonna go in which actually will do a decent job on defense but still we're gonna get over a thousand damage I think done to this tower and uh, so far so good inside this game all right not a tragedy like match number one this one's turning out a lot better let's get zappies down and not you know really get too overconfident too many times making that one extra play that you don't need is what ends up cost costing you the match and i think that's what happened inside of that last one right there so let's go ahead and let this one roll uh goblin gang's gonna run in he does have zap inside of his deck and he's gonna zap way too late so i'm gonna let my zappies just go ahead and rock on down the lane uh i'm tempted to play my fireball but i'm just gonna let that be and we're just gonna go ahead and move on with our life all right here we go with the wizard looks like that goblin set is gonna end up dying right there nicely done wizard's gonna be able to take out this musketeer but still taking a little more damage than what i wanted uh i'm actually gonna opt to go for royal hogs right now that tombstone is not what he wanted guys look at this tombstone getting obliterated dark goblin going down the other lane taking out that tower other tower is being blasted by this wizard plus these piggies guys and i think that's gonna go ahead and be a gg well played and uh, hopefully he's not going to play anything else. All right, I'm going to play my P.E.K.K.A. in the center. He's going to opt for the Hog Rider Goblin Barrel, one of the most classic combinations inside of Clash Royale. Uh, it's going to work to get a decent amount of damage done, but I'm going to drop another Wizard front and center. His Miner, he's got so many win conditions, he doesn't even know what to do. I meant to play my Dark Goblin, and I zap nothing. He's going to zap nothing. This is an all-on Clown Fiesta right here, and uh, absolutely nothing being accomplished as we end up taking the 3-0 victory. All right, much different than match number one. Clearly, this guy was in Silver Clan War League. The other guy was in Legendary League. Let's just keep moving and pretend nothing of this ever happened. Let's go and get into match number three right now and see if we can end this one with a positive record. Here we go. I think we're looking pretty solid uh, with this deck. I, I actually feel like this one's pretty fun to play. I'm not sure what we do against certain decks like Beatdown, but in the interim, this one's definitely fun. Let's spam our Dark Goblin down this right-hand lane. Get ready with our Zappies in a moment. Zap's going to come down from him, so we can just go ahead and reset with our Zappies now. And uh, let's see what he does. He's going to offer a golem right here. And, you know, I sort of spoke it into existence by saying, what the heck are we going to do against Beatdown? But, I mean, actually, we have the P.E.K.K.A. What am I talking about? We have P.E.K.K.A. to go against this golem right here. Plus, we're going to get some nice damage done there. The only issue is I don't really have my P.E.K.K.A. in cycle. So my Zappies are going to run forward. Uh, my Zappies are going to run forward. His Valkyrie is going to run forward. Oh, man. I need to cycle this P.E.K.K.A. sooner than later, guys. But I don't think it's going to happen. P.E.K.K.A. is going down now. Oh no! Oh my goodness, what are we doing? All right, guys. Well, that's going to be a very, very tragic tower <laughs> sacrifice to the Clash Royale gods. I tried to make a play, and in the end, I face planted, and there was nothing remaining for what happened right there. Let's get our wizard going in. His baby dragon's going down. Notice my wizard placement, playing it so when everything goes down, the wizard's going to go down the right hand lane to kill the baby dragon instead of going elsewhere, guys. I am making some questionable plays, to say the least, so I'm going to have to try to find a way to figure this one out. Fireball's coming down from him. Not a bad play if he didn't have much else to do right there, and it's going to end up working out. He does have Valkyrie against our Royal Piggies, so that's going to be a little bit disturbing as we keep on moving, but let's just play our Zappies now, worry about the consequences later, and that's going to include playing Royal Hogs if he ends up playing uh his golem but let's see royal hogs are ready royal hogs are primed and ready to go i'm imagining golem he's gonna play valkyrie in the back but keep in mind guys he has fireball so not really gonna be able to break through tornado valkyrie i think he has fireball too that is just uh that is not a winning combination for us uh going against him but we're still gonna take his tower down to half hp he might play a golem down the other side 
but I don't mind too much because I know we can uh, at least be able to do a little bit against it. Let's get our Dark Goblin going down now. Golem's going to come down from him, and I'm hoping that this is a tower swap right here and that my P.E.K.K.A. offensive is going to be too much for him to handle. Let's try it. Zappy's going down. Zappy's going to get nice and split up right here. Fireball's going in from this. Goblin getting going down over here. Have to get ready. I think I'm going to play my Fireball down on this side. Fireball's going to go in on this Mega Minion. I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, that Valkyrie's really going to give us some issues right here. Zappies are doing their best. Have to play my Piggies right here and hope that we can take down this tower. It looks like it's going to be a tower trade again, guys. Who's going to be able to pick this one up with a Baby Dragon going down right here? I'm going to play my P.E.K.K.A. front and center. I don't have a care in the world. It's a three crown race for that base right now, and it looks like the Zap's going to be enough to redirect that Baby Dragon. Keep it away from my Dark Goblin. Fireball's going in. GG well plays. Wow, that was a, a fiesta of battles to say the least, guys. Inside of this episode, there's a lot of lessons learned. Uh, we learned a lot about the Giant Goblin. We learned a lot about not what to do against Bandit Bridge Fam with our P.E.K.K.A. And uh, we learned that uh, Wizard is pretty good for dealing with Golem Night Witch. That's going to do it for the video today, guys. Lots of madness inside of these battles, but let me know what you guys think inside the comment section below about the newest card coming out inside of Clash Royale. That's going to do it for me. Hopefully, we see a new challenge coming out tomorrow. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.